Hey guys, welcome to the stream. It's going to be a minute here while we ping the Discord. Then we can have a little bit of Monday evening, hello people, shall we? See how everyone's doing. It won't be live for as long tonight because we're not really got that much to do detailing wise before the next episode needs to happen. So we won't be as live for as long, but we can hang out for a little bit, right? Okay, welcome. Who do we have? Thick, Andy. Uh, Streistian, am I pronouncing that right? Probably not. Pipe, Nick, Stephen, Exy, Yash, Jimmy, 2C, Sean, welcome everyone. How's everyone's bank holiday been? For those that have a bank holiday Monday. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to carry on detailing uh, what we did last week. Where we're setting up these little suburban spots. And yeah, just carry on hanging out and filling out this little area here. Of course, referring to Google Maps whenever we need it. But yeah, welcome everyone. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, started show. We've got 26 here. What's going on, are we? Hey, Suicide King. Uh, not much, dude. How about you? How are you? Okay, so we finished up here last time, didn't we? So that's it. I've not played Isla since we were live the other night. So let's go for... Yeah, I think we'll carry on working on this area here, right? We've got this grid structure set up. Starting to Google Earth for the first time. Why everyone joins the stream. Welcome, everyone. Uh, steak Sauce. Hey, Egg. So glad I can finally catch a stream. Hey, Steak Sauce. Welcome, buddy. Nice to have you here. Usually work and join the stream time. Oh, good, good, good. You're here now, right? <laughs> okay, let's have a look at Google Earth. Bring it over to the screen so you guys can see it. So yeah, very much like we were doing, was it Friday that we were streaming? Something like that, wasn't it? Um, just picking out little spots of inspiration like using Google Maps here. So we'll see what we can find, shall we? Let's have a little look for something that we want to take inspiration from. This is what I was talking about with kind of the big box corner retails every time the big arterials meet. Kind of like we did the last episode as well. Love this build new to cities, so it's been a steep learning curve. Oh yes, master, it is. <laughs> if this is your first time playing and you're looking at this many mods, yeah, I bet it is a little bit kind of confusing, right? Okay. This looks pretty nice over here, playing with some elementary school designs, little car park there as well. Congrats on 400k. I wish it was 400k, Stuart. <laughs> but yeah, 40k. Yeah, congrats on 40k. You totally deserved. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it was really cool to hit 40k over the weekend. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for everyone that's subscribing. Okay, this looks like a little bit of what we can get involved in here. Let's see what's happening. What are these? Are these basketball courts? Not sure. Let's see if we can tell from Street View. Hey, Rene. Welcome to the stream. What are they? Is it like a squash court? Like a squash centre? Court? I don't, I don't know what you call it. I think it's a court, right? It kind of looks like it is. So little climbing frames with a gazebo over them. Some benches. Okay, we can get involved with something like this. Handball courts too soon. Racquetball. Some kind of small ball court, I take it, <laughs> is, is the take home point, right? But we can see how the, the road that runs through the main grid here, it bends off. It's not totally straight. So we can totally get involved with that today as well. Get a few little curves in. Okay, cool. Wonderful. Let's play, shall we? Let's see what we're doing. So let's go and grab our regular roads that we're using all the time here. These as well. Okay. Here and then we can use this space, of course, once it's been forest brushed to construct some new suburban designs. Got a lot of residential demand in the city at the minute as well, so easy to satisfy and wonderful. Okay, so we'll mark out this little spot here. Let's come out with no road guideline for a minute, then we'll do seven tiles and then we'll start introducing. Just a real gentle curved road where everything else can split from. And of course, we want to make sure that we're aligning with that node again of seven tiles. That's not the right pattern. Let's get that one off as well. There probably is a way to do this with network multi tool, isn't there? Just to auto generate the curve. Okay. 
it's the Bob Ross of City Skylines. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stephen. I think everyone gets called the Bob Ross of City Skylines these days, don't they? Everyone always is. And then let's just match up our zoning squares here where we can maximize those zoning spaces. I don't want too many connections along the arterial here, so we'll have to see what happens with that. Let's just leave it there for right now. And then we'll bring this curve in and then we'll use this space here for our park. Yeah, hey, the curves are here. Yes. <laughs> you could totally remake those courts and maybe some cement retaining walls. What props would you use for it though, TC? What would you use for that? I'll decide what's going to happen with this arterial road. It probably just wants no traffic lights. I think that's going to be the easiest way. Probably change this type of road here as well in a minute. We'll see. Build a frontage load road along the arterial. That's probably not a bad shout, dude. Random dude. <laughs> I'm not just I'm not just calling you dude. But yes, that's probably not a bad idea. We're probably gonna plop a lot of the houses in here as well, I imagine, because of the available zone in spaces. Let's bring a little bit more of a curve into that one as well, shall we? Let's take off our angle tool as well. There we go. That's more of what I'm after. Just feel very weird <laughs> drawing in these wavy roads when we're Taken inspiration from Phoenix, but you know, when you look at Google Earth and Google Maps, there is a ton of areas that do have these little curvy wavy roads. Okay, not too bad. Let's start with the part first of all. We will have that NMT session soon. I guess we will, TC. We will. <laughs> we will, buddy. A cement retainable networks used. Oh, okay, so it's a set of networks, is it? Okay, I'll have to subscribe to them, won't I? Oh, Nicholas Blinsky, my personal bubble, with a 9.99 US dollar super chat. Not much for today, but still didn't feel right not sending a super chat to one of my faves on CS. Keep the desert vibes flowing, away. Thank you so much, Nick. I do, I do not worry about the, ima the amount, dude. <laughs> like, it's honestly fine. You of all people have sent me more than enough uh, support. Thank you so much for the super chat, Nick. Really appreciate it, mate. You are a real secret band of herbs and spices. Okay, so we actually have houses backing onto the park uh, as the first little bit here. So I think we can get on board with that. Again, I think we are going to manually plop a lot of these down with the American Eclectic Assets. Because we do have a whole bunch of them here. Yeah, sort of these ones. So let's place in a few. Maybe jump back a size as well. All right. And then I think we'll give him a little bit of breathing space as well. Let's turn off the time of day. Uh, with some farm fencing. Because they have fencing on the back of the park here. So we'll try and recreate that. Probably come in here as well with Anarchy. And we'll give them... I think that should probably be deep enough, right? I think that should kind of give us the vibe that we're after. Might actually be a little bit too shallow now. Might take this one out and then make this the park area. We'll see. Really enjoying Ilos. So much inspiration and spice. Thank you, Carl. I'm glad you're enjoying it, mate. Hey, Thick Phoenix. Finally caught a live stream. Always too light. Well, welcome, Dax. I hope it's worth the wait, buddy. We have, we have a lot of live stream noobs these days. We've got 87 people here already as well. Thank you so much for turning up, everyone. Okay, so I think I'm feeling, yet again, at more fertile land. So we were actually chilling out in the Discord and having a little look. So wherever it, there is some essence of tree, you know, it kind of has that tree resource on it, it will affect the intensity that the fertile land paints out. So you see how it's a lot more intense of green around the parts that aren't forestry green. So that seems to be what's happening, but... Again, I think I'm happy for this kind of worn out grass to be the texture. Just little bits of it, okay? Not too bad. Are you going to detail those uh, yards? Yes, we will. 
Absolutely. Um, I was watching a few Candy's video actually. She has uh, some kind of back garden prop packs. I need to subscribe to that. Because otherwise it'll all be vanilla stuff. But yes, we'll do some back backyard detailing. Okay. So let's have a look. So we have tennis courts. A couple of random gazebos just knocking around the park as well. So we can easily replicate that. Go ahead and grab a basketball court. So we'll place this here, but we'll position it manually. Of course it comes without the trees because we've used beautiful builds to get rid. I think we'll probably add our own in. Been told to use more palms, so <laughs> we use it as an excuse, alright? Dax Toe with a 499 euro super chat. Just stoked to finally catch a live stream with you. Cooking can't wait. Cooking can wait. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Dax. Really appreciate your support, buddy. Hope you're enjoying the series. Thank you so much for the super chat. Mm okay. Okay. I think I can accept that. Let's grab those gazebos because there's just kind of a few random ones knocking around. Although they're not these kind of typical bandstand gazebos that we get in cities that have been used in the parks in Arizona, we can still get away with the vibe. So we'll bring them closer into these areas. Let's see what else we're working with. So we've got a big open space in the middle with trees kind of dotted around in no particularly landscaped pattern. It's all pretty random. Okay. Easy enough. So let's grab into our big trees. Use some of these leafy boys as well. See if we can stick to the bigger end of the spectrum. Okay, and then just so it is functional for city skylines, we will add a couple of little pathways in. So people can actually cross this green belt, because of course they won't just walk across grass in cities. We have to give them the means. I think we'll bring another one down through here as well. Okay. The open areas probably uses a ball field, do you think, Pipe? Possibly. Possibly. Hey Mags, welcome to the stream mate. I'm Moji. Welcome guys. Will there be any gated communities in the city? Yes. To be fair, we already kind of have some um, with the condo complex, which is currently on fire. Um, this kind of functions as a gated community, right? Got other people using the bus here as well. But yeah, similar vibes to gated communities, maybe kind of low density residential next time. We'll see. Okay. This is alright, I think. Of course, we're missing power. You guys not jumping through yet. You should. Although, to be fair, I actually think I wouldn't mind the aesthetic of the rural power lines flowing down here without anarchy, though. Let's bring them there for right now. We'll see. Give them an extra footpath to the bus station. Maybe through here. That wouldn't be the worst idea in the world, actually, A and B. Yeah, let's do that to them. Let's give them a little connection here. Let's just shatter a little bit of the detailing. Here we go. Probably actually make that quite a nice little entrance into the gated community, actually. Let's bring through a little pathway. And then bring that park fence back in. I love the aesthetic of the park fence behind the hedges. Very nice, isn't it? See how many people pick that up. There's the OE bus. <laughs> Has anyone downloaded the OE buses, by the way, on the trams? Has anyone got OE branding knocking around the city? 125 people here. Welcome to the Monday stream, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Yeah, everyone using that pathway now. Some decent walking pawn there, isn't there? Very nice indeed. Very nice. Okay. Cool. So... I'm actually not sure what sort of assets are going to come in 
with the American Eclectic theme with weird zoning like this. I think we should try it and just see what happens. Let's just zone up this little section right here. Or district out rather. And then just zone it and see what spawns. Can't imagine it's going to be particularly good looking. We will need to probably plot this entire neighbourhood when we're using curved roads, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, F this, I think I'm pronouncing that right, with a 5 US dollar super chat. I think invisible paths would be good for areas like this so you don't break the aesthetic and trees tend to be along lines due to irrigation. Yeah, that would be a good shout. How would we go about getting um, invisible paths though? Is there like a network collection or is it a, a mod combo we need to put in place? Okay, so we are getting a lot of the construction site assets down immediately, which is fine. It means they're going to grow. Okay, yeah, even in spaces that are really shallow, like 2x4 are still getting zoned up as well. Okay. They're in the workshop. I think they're just a mod. There is a network collection of visible paths. I definitely need to check that out. Thank you for the suggestion, guys. Yes, that would be very helpful because the... Vanilla path does break it a little bit. Is it any better with nature reserve? I do sort of prefer nature reserve actually. Just because we get the little rocks and stones on the path. Rock and stone. Okay, yeah. We'll have a look at some invisible path networks then. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be the most horrific thing in the world. Being organically zoned. So I think we'll carry on. Again, we'll continue to bring Lee Hawkins Hills all the way up this district. Very nice. Trying to keep my district super neat for Exy. Alright, there we go. Cool. So we need kind of one more playground and activity here. Um, probably the climbing frame is perfect for what we need, but it just wants those coarse combines taken out of it. Probably these little Chinese ones as well. Okay. See if we can just knock it off the pavement. Cool. And then we'll surround it with our own tree palette. Keep trying to bring some more palms into it. I think I can get on board with it. I think these little park areas certainly come into their own once they're surrounded, like we did with this one over here. Super basic, but it works. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's have a look at our current services. Looks like we are bleeding for some crime. Let's go ahead and give these guys a police station. Where are we kind of missing coverage here? What's that we could do with one over here, maybe? And I think, do we want to continue this frontage pattern down here as well? We probably do, don't we? Go ahead and grab it. We'll slap into the grid. And then anarchy as well. Really do love these little one unit frontage road designs. Super helpful for squeezing designs into awkward spaces when you don't want to connect to the arterial road. Not too bad. Shade is key when on the monkey bars here in Arizona. Yeah, I bet it is, man. You cook your hands, right? <laughs> Google Earth is just for inspiration ideas. They could still use a good old egg touch of pattern fencing. That is true. That is true. But invisible paths would be nice. I do agree with the invisible path concept. Because you would totally see that in real life, you know, if you were... A sim, or a person rather, <laughs> not a sim, walking down the road, you would just cut across this field to get to the other side, right? You wouldn't walk all the way around, but obviously cities can't really function like that, otherwise you'd probably get sims walking through buildings and stuff. Okay, uh, let's go for one of these police stations. I feel like I'm okay with that, that's not too bad. 
make sure that we're satisfying that demand as well. Probably do with one more, in which case we'll plot one. Just temporarily here for right now until we come to work on this suburb. Okay. Did you just place a prop with road entry and a key off? That's a first. I might have done. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Possibly. Maybe I'm learning finally. Fire department is a possibility as well. Though I feel like we do have one relatively nearby. Yeah, I guess people over here will want one too. Though people over here still seem to be lacking coverage. I wonder if that's because it's on the frontage road and it's calculating its route as a longer one, maybe. I'm sure. But these are red too. I'm sure. We'll see. Bring another fire station anyway. And then education, high school. Oh yes, we get to build a high school campus. <laughs> yes, please. Love high school campuses. Okay, but we're still getting bunches of residential demand, so let's keep satisfying these guys. Again, whatever doesn't zone organically, we can plot. And then we'll continue with the curve of designs through here too. Build a small hotel near the highway. Yeah, we'll get into some like hotel vibes eventually, I think. It certainly will. Turn traffic lights on here. Go ahead and bring that zone in also. We'll probably customize another little strip more here today as well because we've got that commercial demand. Bring all the ones here. How do the houses actually sit against the arterial? Are they on it or are they on kind of frontage road? What's happening here? No, they only back onto it. Okay. Is that the same everywhere? This isn't arterial, is it? Let's see if we can find a chunkier road. Yeah, okay. So the houses never seem to sit on the main road. They're always just off. So that means that we're not going to get people uh, stopping and starting here. So with that in mind, we will lose all of the zoning here. So no one sits against the arterial road. We'll detail that up. Okay. Nice. Oh, I turned off this traffic light, didn't I? Oops. There we go. Okay. So yeah, let's do another little strip more here. We have the the demand, of course. Carry on using these little one-way road networks. I'm slowly thinking, now that I'm kind of doing modded detailing, that we probably are going to have an issue with the node count at some point. Although I believe there is currently a modern development, isn't there, to remove the node count, which would be tremendously helpful for me. But hopefully that gets released before we run into any eyeless problems. With Anarchy again. Usually find between 10 and 15 is a nice length for these little parking lots here. Alright. If you put fences alongside the arterials, you get some of the squares assigned to your locals. Yeah, that's a good shout, actually, EMB, because that's a good trip, a good tip with the zoning, isn't it? We come out and then just reform these first squares. Yeah, it does it for some of the bends. Yeah, these aren't great, but I probably will use some kind of fence detail in there anyway. Not park fence though. You can also use the zone in adjuster mod as well, can't you? So it prioritizes which uh, zones actually appear, which is a good one too. Uh, okay, let's drop in a little strip more, shall we? Let's go for... We're going to have to manually place this and then bring it over, plot the grow uh, move it. So we'll place in a little IHOP. Tim Hortons. And Arby's. Is that how you pronounce that? Is it Arby's or Arby's? Arby's sounds weird. If there's any Americans in the chat, do let us know. And this is a Texas something? Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. Okay. 
Okay, that arterial road with the red cross looks was amazing. Yeah, this is the ultimate American roads park. That gives you the red kind of brick crosswalk here. It's nice. Arby's is how it's pronounced. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no. Not a duplicate. That's not what I wanted to do. Cool. Let's grab these guys and move them onto the strip mall. I so probably want this one. Just extend it out maybe a touch more. Want a road length too. There we go. That should be alright. Maybe it's a pirate themed Arby's. <laughs> yes, we have a Arby's. <laughs> That's such a good marketing campaign for them. If they ever did like a pirate event. I don't know if they do. I don't know if it's that kind of establishment. I have no idea. We don't really have them in the UK, but yeah, swap Tim Hortons and IHOP. Oh, so we get the parking on there. Inside, that's a good shot actually. Let's do this. RB's slogan is "We've got the meats." Well, if they did the pirate campaign, they could do "We've got the plunder." That would work. If anyone from Ar from RB's is watching and wants my marketing advice, <laughs> then do, do get in touch. I don't think they are, but you never know. Right, let's bring some more walkability through. And um, what's going to happen here? I think we're we just going to zone this. I think we are. I think we are just going to zone it. Maybe do some more industrial stuff over here. All right. Do we want surface painter? I don't think I do. I think I'm just going to go overgrown. Um, actually, maybe some landscaped bushes. I'm a fan of these little bushes that I got off the workshop. Maybe with some fencing as well. BOB might be a good mod to pull in, remove the parking lots and the assets that include them. Yeah, that is true. I realise I've done that in a few places. Can you remove parking lots with BOB? I'm assuming you can. I don't know how to do it though. Yeah, parking spaces, yeah, okay. Probability zero. And probability zero here as well. Does that work? Yes, please. Yes, it does. Very nice. Alright. Cool. I think I'm maybe fancying a touch of fractured nature reserve fencing to run with my bushes. Was, I love it. <laughs> There's literally no better fencing. Off the angle snap here as well and give a connection into car park. Oh, no, not like that, though. Okay. Looks like the parking lots don't like having a path placed too near to them. Let's see if we can rework this. That's better. Just one of the part life paths it didn't like. It's fine with the vanilla dirt. I think I'm happy with that. Why isn't the solar panels not on the mod list? Because the mod list is broken. I need to fix the collection. Um, there's some assets missing off of it. They are linked in our Discord though, Ninja, if you want them. Um, they're in the ILOS channel in the Discord. Someone asked for them earlier as well. Those little solar panels that we're using. Cool. Wonderful. Happy with that, I think. Love little strip malls like this. Are we okay at the back? Oh, God, no. We are not. Arby's is spilling onto the road. In that back as well. We delete the parking here too. I'll be able to. And again, zero. And then apply. Fantastic. Very nice. Don't think that's too bad, right? Again, one thing I do like to do with these arterial networks is to come on with anarchy and just find a space where we can hide a vanilla dirt path so it does actually provide walkability back and to between the two sides of the road. Because of course you could do that in real life, but cities you can't. They have to have that node connection there. Okay. If you remove parking with BOB, we'll take it away from every iteration of the asset. I don't think that's such a bad thing though, because if we look at the Tim Hortons we placed over here, cars are still here. <laughs> Why? I've removed your parking. Stop doing that. Why? Are they props as well? Ok, 
Okay. Not sure why that's happened, but yeah, I don't mind removing the parking. Because we're playing with so much like mod car parking, I'm happy to draw it in myself rather than just have it on the side of the asset. Okay. Actually, I think what we can use this space for here is going to be um, a high school campus. Let's dive into Google Maps and find one. There is like a million high schools here, so let me get my bearings. Where's downtown Phoenix? We are wrong way around. I always have to look at Phoenix looking north. <laughs> Any other orientation, it completely throws me. Uh, elementary school. Okay, let's find a high school, shall we? Oh, what's this? Department of Economic Security. It's just car parks and warehouses, really, isn't it? Okay. Glendale High School. Okay. So a lot of tennis courts here. Let's see, yeah, it is tennis, isn't it? Okay, some nice ideas though with the tennis decal here and the spotlights over it all fenced off. Got on board with that. And then a running track, two baseball fields, mass collection of buildings and administration with some car parking either side. All right, that's going to be good enough. Let's see what we can do with that, shall we? So why don't we use this space for it here? And then we can just see, you know, this is going to be... High school for this area. Probably a little bit too small, actually. I probably should have knocked all this up here. <laughs> that probably would have been the better idea, but we'll, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. So, we do have some consolidated high school stuff here, too. We have, like, the athletics buildings and stuff, and auditorium. Okay, I can do this. Let's go for a small little frontage road again. Let's grab these tiny ones. Want a road guideline angle and length. And we'll go three. And then switch into five unit car park. This might be a little bit shallow actually, mightn't it? Glendale High School has old oil, bar old oil barracks vibes with those repeated rectangular buildings, trees in between. Okay, dude. Do we have access to oil stuff? Yeah, we do. These ones right here, eh? The barracks. That I can't place without an oil industry, but... Okay. So let's place in the admin building. Oh, no. I keep using the eyedropper to go to move it. <laughs> so I don't know where where I picked that habit from. I'm going to have to make this car part longer. It looks ridiculous, that shot. It's like really strong chode vibes. Let's grab it, make it a bit longer. That's kind of better, isn't it? Place next to Arby's is still overlapping the road. Is it? Just about. Bit. Okay, so we can pretty much judge the centralization spot. Can I get rid of that street light? That is so annoying. If I draw it in the other side, or well, the other right, left to right, does it move it? Yeah, okay, that's easier. Ignore me, that's fine. Okay, so there's the admin building. How many spaces does this provide? 200. So I think we'll definitely have the athletics field over near where the track and field things are going to sit. And I think what we'll do to position a lot of these assets and maintain their road connection is start using some of the part life path road stuff. So if we start bringing a path that runs parallel with the express line off the highway, can we drop in a little track and field pitch here? 
even though it says high school football stadium, but same thing, right? It's a football pitch in a track and field thing. Okay. Not too bad. Probably won't need as much space as I thought for this, actually. So I'll definitely have my athletics building over here, too. Let's go ahead and grab... So that's it right here. And we can clip through with Anarchy. I don't think we're going to be getting too much prop tear in there. I think we're all right. Hey, Egg, thanks for the Monday content. No worries... You chuck up a tubal. I cannot pronounce your name, but you're more than welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. All right. Not looking too bad, I don't think, is it? I think I'm mostly happy with it. Um, so, of course, I don't have tennis courts on yet because I still haven't. Oh, I do have the large tennis club, but this thing's massive. Yeah, we're just going to have to use basketball courts until I turn the European theme on so I can get the tennis stuff. Okay, so if we place them in, they do come kind of pre-gated, but I don't think I want that. I don't think I want that. Okay, so let's go for the decal instead. It's Cuckoo Kachubal. Such a brutal one to read it is, mate. <laughs> it is a brutal one to read. Oh, we are going to get sprites, though. Yeah, we do get sprites. Okay, okay. That changes things, then. In that case, we will rethink the frontage road system. Let's bring you down and across. Actually, one grid snap in here. There we go. We can connect into the path down here as well. That's fine. Are you watching the United game on the side? now, mate. I watched the first half. Uh, and then I was just ready to stream. What score is it, by the way? <laughs> it was it was 0-0 when I, when I came away. Okay, so let's bring these down. And I think over. Can we merge them together so the fencing is almost kind of the same on either side? Still no nil. Cheers for donor. Appreciate that. Okay. I think maybe one more as well. Yeah, let's go for four. The repeated pattern should give us what we want, at least, anyway. And we'll have them sat there. Okay. And I think we'll draw some more car parking in the middle, but we'll use big parking lots for this, maybe. Let's go for drive road. With the angle on road length snap here too. Actually, I guess we could just make this all border, couldn't we? I guess there is no need for a drive road here, actually. Yeah, okay, let's go in with border then. We'll go for... What's the distance here? Let's just remeasure this. To there. And then we'll draw in... Clockwise border road, three units by 12 is going to be wonderful. Let's go for that. This should be a nice way to squeeze a little bit of car parking. Although this probably should be drive road though. So we don't get the weird node tearing. Uh, and then we can place in parks as such. Actually, I need the other ones, don't I? Because... I want the curb in between, and apparently there's two different versions. The car parking space is one with the curb and then one without. So thank you to Max for this. Max has um sorted it out. Let's go into that fence in and grab some of those curbs as well. We've got 237 people here. Welcome everyone. 
thank you so much for turning up for a little bit of Monday Night Stream action. And to the new people, I hope you're enjoying the streams as well. If you service paint under the decals, the sprites go away. That's a good shout, actually, Sean. That is a good shout. The arrangement looks weird with the one-sided bleachers. Would it look better to have the bleachers face one another? Yeah, it probably would, actually. That's not a bad shout. Let's do that. And let's just grab this one here. It's this one that we want to rotate first. It will lose its connection, but we'll draw a road in to fix that. And then you shall spin around as well. Yeah, something like that. Is that a little more what we're after? Does it look better now with the bleachers backing onto each other like that? Are we happy? Hey JJ, am I well? I'm alright dude. So many watching your channel has grown so much. I know mate, I know. <laughs> I would have never thought there was a day where I can pull in um, 249 people on a live stream. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah, so we can just use the building spawn point thing here to move it, right? Yes. So... Do this one. Has that not fixed it? Cactus in the middle of the road. Yes, I'll just forest brush. Excellent spot. You turn the right. You turn the wrong ones. You turn one and two from the right. I don't mind it like this. I think I can. I can just bring these part life path roads down. Turn off snapping. And then we can start to hopefully push together. Some little plaza vibes here. So we also want to accommodate the athletics building here too. Which again is a pretty wide boy. Just get a feel for it first. Don't hate it. Not the worst thing ever. It's definitely not finished yet, obviously. How does it feel playing using mods for a series? This is really the first time I've ever used mods full stop, let alone for YouTube. I've never completed, or even really started a city with mods. Um, even in my own spare time before I made videos. And especially when you have 257 people, <laughs> all telling you how to use which mods and which mod is best for which, which is massively appreciated for guys, but it does sometimes get a little bit confusing. But I really wouldn't be here without your help, so please don't think I'm complaining or anything. Okay. Let's go for the auditorium next. Now we do have, for those that person that shouted out the oil barrack vibes, we do have some little consolidated classrooms which kind of hold that aesthetic. So I think I might use a few of these. Hmm? And sure. Happy New Year TV. Welcome to the stream.
Okay. So I think again we'll have this one set up against the word. Okay. Hey Keith, stream enjoying football. How very dare you? I believe we've just gone one nil down anyway, mate. So <laughs> it wasn't wasn't really worth the wait anyway, was it? No, I'm just uh I was just ready to stream. They can be a little bit awkward sometimes, the 7pm streams, because I'm just kind of hanging around uh, waiting for the stream to start. I think maybe in, you know, kind of going forward in this year, we might do more 3pm streams instead. But we'll see. Let's go ahead and grab this one. And spin it around again. We'll get some trees in between these. It would be absolutely spectacular if we can double you up, which I think we can if we play our cards right here. Hey Rudy, don't need to apologise for being late dude. Welcome to the stream. Alright. Get some little eating areas here as well. Detailed up. You should have the doors for the classroom to face towards one another with path and trees in the middle. You think too, see? Is that the go-to, is it? Okay, well we can do that, no problem. That's really easy. So just grab these two. And then shift them along. And then if we just grab this node here. Just gives us a little more breathing room to come down with the part life paths as roads, which by the way is possibly one of my favourite mods. The little part path with roads functionality is amazing for placing assets like this. Right. And then no, not that. Wrong one again. Boom. Place them. Down the middle like that. Let's also grab the tree here as well. I think I'll say let's just jump back into Google Earth and see if we can see any kind of distinct species of tree that's knocking around this high school campus. No, it's just kind of leafy foliage, isn't it? We do have grass in the campus as well. I want to bring that in. Yeah, it's all just kind of generic leafy tree, isn't it? There's no real palms or cactus vibes happening here. Looks like there's a mist chat across the road too. There's a pool. Missed, totally missed the pool. It seems really short. It's like the same length as a tennis court. That's a really small pool, right? <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen a tennis court and a pool compared side by side before. Unsure. Okay. But yeah, we're just pretty much having generic trees here. Nothing insane. Let's go for some of those larger ones again. Similar to what we've used in the park already. Although I am possibly feeling some repeated palm action out the front. Can I get away with this 2C? <laughs> Is this okay? With the palms out front. It's a 25 yard pool leg. Is that small? Don't know how big 25 yards is at the top of my head. No idea. Olympic pools are 50 meters. 2C, two, two you're jumping between meters and yards. <laughs> Every single message. Make your mind up. <laughs> Whichever one. And stick with it. That one there. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab yet again. Because I love it. Some nature as a fence. Trees are good. Yeah, indeed, free candy. Yeah, indeed. It's coming together, though, isn't it? I think definitely giving it some 
beefier trees and repeated patterns outside the front door. And that does help. Although we do want maybe some smaller beefier tree patterns to come through here now. Um, let me turn an anarchy on here. These are sort of trees we're thinking. Maybe a little space a little further out than that, actually. Let's go for 15, 15 meters. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm sure 2C can tell us exactly how far that is. <laughs> oh, I love 2C. If you guys haven't seen all the wonderful content that 2C posts in our Discord, yeah, there's a reason he's our interchange princess, right? Which is linked down below if you aren't in there. Do come and join us. Paint out some more of this too. Wonderful, wonderful. I do want to start getting some grass. Do we have horrible tree resource here? No, we don't. We don't. So that means that fertile land should be a little stronger. Yes, it is. It is indeed. Nice. Yeah, okay. Let's make all that grass. Wonderful. Okay. Really stands out on the corner of an arterial like this too. I like that aesthetic. Okay. Not too bad. I think we've placed in the bulk of the main high school assets. Now we do have an auditorium. But again, it's a little bit of a chunga, so I just don't think it, we will be forcing him in at this point. Maybe get it in here. If we wanted to. have to move the track and field stadium back a little bit. Otherwise just get people running face first into the building. Can we do this? Eager anticipation. And I think if we just move over and straighten up this auditorium building a little bit, we can maybe put something in front of the car park here as well. Grass makes a huge difference, it does doesn't it? This is what it should be like. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm waiting for the tree resource to disappear. Could probably ban cars on the paths as roads. Yes, yes, we probably can do um, a little. Or can we? We can ban residential cars anyway. Uh, vehicle restrictions here. So we will just ban pedestrian. Public transport won't ever come down. Service vehicles and everything else is fine. So will that work because I banned it on the entrance point? Will they stop driving on these roads now? Let's wait till this car leaves and see if anyone, any more come in. I think that should work, right? I don't need to do the whole thing. Potentially? I'm sure. We'll see anyway. It seems to have worked, so I'll take that as a yes. Fantastic. Okay, let's start working on some little eatery, outdoor student detailing. We've got 280 people here, man. Thank you so much for turning up for the streams, everyone. Streams are, like, ridiculously busy these days. <laughs> like, in Novaria, we were sat around pulling in, like, 100 sometimes. Other times it had been a lot less. And two, nearly 300 people <laughs> watching. Crazy. Okay, so... And I think I want a pathway through here, which is essentially like invisible path because this will be the same texture. There you go. And then also through here as well. Yep, that's going to be fine. And then we'll go for a little pattern of tables. I think I'm totally diverse to the inclusion of some hedges as well. Although we want to knock the sizing down here a little bit. Like that. Although that is crossing the pathway. Let's take that one away. Could probably get some really nice props off the workshop for this. 
by the way for you, Candy, we were talking about your uh, back garden prop pack earlier because I need it to do some back garden detailing. Zone some up here. Just this side to sit against the back of a park. Need the props for that. Glad to just hang out. Trying to listen in while getting some work done. Well, welcome, Ricky. You are more than welcome, my friend. Uh, band cars on the other first segment of the parking lot, Egg. By the gym. By the gym. Oh, here. Yes. Great shout to see. No pedestrian vehicles here. Should stop them, I think, right? I need to decorate my little curb as well. Um, let's go for a juniper. Yes, juniper spice is the way forward. Can you please Green City's Cafe? Anywhere in particular, JJ, or just anywhere. <laughs> oh, yes, we can use some Green City stuff. It's a good one, you need the link. Uh, yeah, stick it in the Discord, if you can, if you will. Just in, in the, the modded cities channel or something. That should be all right. Have a little look for a light as well. I'm a fan of my parking lot lights. So can I get on board with having a few of these? Every other tree. Are you elevated? Yes, I think it is. Don't know why, but we'll see what we look like anyway. Game over, we lost one now. Ah, oh, just shocking, mate. Total lack of quality. But we can have a little drink here as we have a little hydration break and the suburb burns in the background. But welcome to the stream, everyone. 280 of you. <laughs> that is insane. Thank you so much. I hope you're all enjoying Ilos at the minute. It's uh, certainly something brand new for me. And I was kind of thinking the other day, you know, this is like... Considering I've always played vanilla, basically vanilla bars from Quality of Life mods for six years... This is basically like City Skylines 2 for me. <laughs> I'm getting all the car parking, move it, intersection stuff. Like this is what everything I want in Cities 2. So this is basically Cities 2 for me. <laughs> it's really, it's that good. It's that good. Is this fire being taken care of? Yep, here they come. There they go. All right. Okay, so there's some more trees around the campus now. I uh, did see someone shout for blocking the back of the auditorium building with some trees. Can we beautify the build here? Nah, not really with a workshop asset. Okay, I just wanted to remove that massive aircon unit or whatever it is, but it's fine. We can hide it with trees. Start bringing in some larger ones around here. Maybe able to hear like that. Can these have a path connected to them? Yeah, that is a snap point. Okay. Bring a few paths out of it then. I guess it's a easier way for people to snap on. I wonder if they work actually. I think I'm not adverse to some shrubbery too. This is what I love about kind of like early city streaming as well is we've got all these opportunities for micro detailing before I get too carried away and start doing like entire power plants in streams, <laughs> like entire builds. Need to get out of the habit of doing that. Some clusters of bushes here. Goodbye phone on 1%. Can we get an F in the chat for Netco? His phone has just died. Rest in peace my friend. Yeah see this is what I want right? Little people just walking around the buildings now. That's why those pathways are so useful. Yes, please. And it's just far enough away from the build. Oh, look at this dude cycling. Nice. Nice. They do work. There's people walking on them. Do you even see? Yes, they do. Nice. Okay. What a wonderful asset that is. I love the uh, 
the football stadium, the high school one. Um, Green City's cafes, JJ shouted out, didn't he? We'll see. If anything would work. Like these ones. I feel like I could get away with using them. Because we can position these on the part life, part life path with roads. I don't know. Is this like a massive clash of styles? We'll see. If we were to rotate these maybe and have them included. Kind of like here. And just copy it over. Does that look naff? It'll satisfy a very tiny bit of commercial demand, but... I think it's alright. Don't know. <laughs> if I had a face come on right now, I am squinting at these <laughs> these little green cities assets. Hmm. So it's maybe some kind of like hipster outdoor dining for the students. Like they've just bought some old shipping containers and converted them into little eateries. Alright. Not too bad. Maybe some more trees along here too. I think I'll just go for a repeated pattern of leafy here. It's not quite... Can we just like move you? So you're basically in line. Is that okay? Yes, it will be. It's fine. Need some shade for eating with the trees or palms. Can do. Always happy to put more palms in. Even though the shade's over there. At, what? Lunch time. <laughs> so it's very briefly shaded about nine in the morning. And then for the rest of the day, it's in the searing heat. <laughs> so it's fine. It works, right? It works. Okay, but I think that's a really nice little mini complex build just to sit within the corner of an arterial because it's also working with the shifted angle here as well where the um, the highway moves off the 90 degree snap. Looks good, but the function may be backward. Parking in an auditorium next to the surface road and the field next to the highway. I wasn't putting that much thought into it, Pipe, but you could be right. Okay, not bad. I think I'm happy with it. So, with this space now, this might as well just become... Actually, can we join a new district? Yes, let's go for the Simply Idea district. We've not had a little bit of Simply Idea for a while, have we? And I think I'm going to draw in some of the lower income uh, rural US housing here from the content creator stuff. Well, from the university content creator back. Uh, let's bring these up just to here. Let's try and trim off as much of that district as possible. And make that one straight. Nice. So yeah, I've already set up my own theme for this. Themes manager is great, by the way. If you don't have themes manager, like literally what the game needs. Okay. Well. Campus looks great, Egg. Thank you, JJ. For the Americans in the chat, is this something you would see? Might be a little bit compact to what you might see in the States, but would you expect to see something like that, maybe? Okay, so let's grab a Diaz district. Um, let's go for themes. We want to enable theme management, and then we're going to apply rural US res. Yes, please, which is my own theme, which is all the college assets. So we will go for what is happening with the zone in there. It's very weird. I think I'm going to do these in threes. And then run the pathway through the middle that we see quite often in Phoenix. So just a lot of three deep stuff until we hit the Smith's Food and Drug. 
Uh, Neo Genesis with a 15 US dollar super chat. Uh, finally caught you live. Love the content. Watching your work is just amazing. Thank you for keeping those videos going. Thank you so much for the support, Neo. Really appreciate it, mate. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. Thank you for the support, buddy. Okay, so we'll see now all these little kind of bungalow, single-story homes start to come in. Oh, do you need to remove the U's, though? <laughs> the U's are an enormous clash. Let's get rid of those. Um, no thank you to the U. So yeah, let's apply that to all buildings. Place all. There we go. Now it gets rid of them all. Apart from that one, for some reason. We'll see. <laughs> this looks like the States. Very glad to hear, Dominic. I would consider building themes as a must-have mod. It definitely is for the University Content Creator Pack. It really is. But otherwise, you have to wait for these to come in or manually pop them. I don't know why they set this DLC up like this. It makes no sense at all. Yeah. Is there a mod list? I, there is Janice, but it's broke at the minute. I need to fix it. I'm going to do it tonight. Okay, so let's work on the path to set it down the middle. I've been using these ones, haven't I? Which are workshop pathways. Which have a little bit of a... Concrete vibe to them. What are the paths in Phoenix? Are we playing with, like... Is it literally just dirt alleyways behind houses? I need to find an entrance to one. Here we go. Here's one. Let's get down into the burbs and see what these actually are. Yeah, so stone fencing. Which I guess is the back gardens of everyone, right? And then it's just dirtway. With rural power lines coming overhead, I might add. So that's an aesthetic we can get involved with as well. Yeah, and then we just have stone wall here. That's uh, That's easy enough to get involved with. Paths in Phoenix, rarely. There's loads of Paths in Phoenix DMC. Especially in the suburbs, there's like literally hundreds of them. All running behind the houses. I think we go for dirt. Now I won't have that kind of stone wall texture. Don't think I will. <laughs> about the castle walls, is this going to work? No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Not even remotely. Way off, way off. Um, yeah, I could just do with some kind of, like, wall fence. It's fine. I think I'll just get away with forestry to line the pathways for right now. We can always come back and change it uh, with an asset from the workshop later, okay? Those are more alleys than paths. What's the difference between an alley and a path? Are all pathways alleys, but not all alleys are pathways? Or is it the opposite way around? All alleys are paths, but not all paths are alleyways. <laughs> it's like, that's the wrong bloody fence. I need to use the other nature reserve one. There we go. We did see some little... Uh, garbage props there as well, don't we? I bet we can find those in the industry prop stuff. It's like a little pile of boxes or... Some, like, broken wood. Yeah, like that. And a shrub. Some, uh... Some long brown weeds. Okay. Alleys are where you put your trash to pick up. Vehicles can drive in alleys, but not on pathways. I guess that makes sense, yeah. Alleys are smaller for service vehicles, like electric utility trucks. Okay. Let's make this nature reserve through the middle too. Probably 
probably more accurate to use uh, one dirt roads behind the houses. Do I have one unit dirt roads? No, I don't. But yeah, if you wanted the function behind them, you could also use part life paths as roads as well. Although you don't have the nature reserve here, so... Or do you? Yeah, so actually we do have the nature reserve path with decorations. How does this look? You get a little detailed crossing thing there too. A little bit of brick or stone. I think I prefer those actually with the, the roads through the middle. It's a little bit of a cleaner texture, isn't it? Yeah, who, who, um, who shouted that out? With the one unit dirt roads. Same thing with the part life passes, I suppose. Look at Royal Tab. There should be one unit dirt road there. Not for me, mate. Oh, there is a... There's a one lane narrow country road, but no, I only have the two lane gravel. Yeah, okay, I think I'm going to run with that then. Um, park paths as roads instead of actual paths. Kind of widens it as well, doesn't it? it does, I don't know, like, it's kind of hard to describe what it actually does to it, but it helps. On the nighttime view, are we happy? Yeah, I think I am with that. We're even getting these broken down cars here as well, which helps detail the pathway for us anyway. Okay, I think I can get on board with it. We'll leave it like that anyway. Okay. Not too bad. Everyone's growing. How's our new neighbourhood doing? Slowly levelling up. And you guys want to be brought down here as well. Go ahead and grab that pathway. No row length. Bring that down too. Okay. And looks like we can maybe squeeze in. What's the noise pollution like here, actually? Yeah, we're okay. The commercial is actually louder than the industry. These might suffer some noise pollution problems right on the edge here, but if they do, we'll just unzone them. It's no major problem. Uh, okay, let's go for those pedestrian roads again. Now, what's going to happen here if we switch through? Okay. Yeah, that's what I want, though. I need to sort out the, um... The what's it called? It's only an adjuster mod. So I don't have to do this. Cool. That's fine. That gives me the 3x3 three three spaces I need. At least for the most part, anyway. Squeeze in some 2x2s two where we don't have them. Okay. Already getting used to that one. Probably want to ban cars on these, but at the minute there doesn't actually seem to be that many cars using them. Which is alright. Looks pretty ace with the nature reserve path as road. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? It's not bad. And it seems to be working for the most part anyway, so... We'll leave it there. And then we've got some more room along here as well to continue to satisfy the commercial demand with strip malls and stuff. Which is starting to peak again too. 22 days to the new DLC. It is. It is 22 days. Looking forward to it. Hopefully the last one. Okay, I think I'm relatively happy with this now. Let's make sure that we're all zoned up here. Keep getting the zoning in. And you will come down here. That's a real length as well. And then we can carry on bringing this pathway right through the middle. I do want to have a little look at these pathways in a minute, actually. See how much use they're actually getting. Because it's definitely not the way I would use pathways. It's very much followed off of Phoenix, but... They are actually getting a decent amount of use. Not the most we've ever seen, but use nonetheless, right? 
use nonetheless. Cool town. Thank you, Gordon Pancake. How'd you like it? Okay. Let's make sure that we are painted out up to where we need here. And I think we're going to start bringing in some of those bigger houses there. Not this side though, we'll save this to be strip mall. And then likewise, we're going to delete this road too. And I need to start actually saving room for dead space because there is a surprising amount of just kind of sand and just open area in Phoenix. I'm not really kind of factoring that in at the minute. It's just everything is zoned. So I think we're just going to go for just a little bit of barren land here. Nothing particularly impressive. Just overgrown with some shrubs appearing. Maybe a couple of little colourful bushes here and there. But otherwise, just some nice little transitional green belt into this kind of lower income suburb that's over here now. Josh T90 with a 10 US dollar super chat or super sticker and it's the fox pushing its cheeks together saying thank you. Thank you so much, Josh. Really appreciate that, buddy. Welcome to the stream, mate. Thanks for the super chat, dude. Do you use Epic Games version or Steam? Uh, Steam. Steam all the time. And I think where we have little spaces here. It's going to be quite nice to come through with some regular pathway so it serves as walkable green belt and just trim up some of that vegetation so we're not spilling over and maybe again just because i'm obsessed some smaller lengths of fractured nature as a fence into maybe one bigger tree maybe a palm like there does that look all right? Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? I think it's just a nice way to round out a corner rather than just endlessly zoning. It's going to be okay. But I absolutely love these American eclectic assets. <laughs> They're so good. They're so good. But that's going to fill in uh, that space there really nicely, I think, isn't it? I think it is. Big fan of the high school campus today as well. Yeah. Do you reckon you might get a sneak peek at the DLC before it drops? Notice they hearted your comment on the announcement video. Um, no. So people already have access to the DLC. Um, I know City Plan has got it. Um, so if they've already given out DLC codes to content creators um, and I haven't got one, then no, I'm not getting any kind of early access or anything like that. So no, I don't have the DLC, but some people already do. Maybe one day. I'll get early access. But uh, they did tweet out Navaria though. Did you guys see that? Uh, the official cities channel um, were doing like a 12 days of Christmas type thing uh, on their socials. And they inboxed me and they were like, would you like to take part? I was like, yeah, sure. Like I've got a winter city that uh, I can send in. And then they replied like, we were secretly hoping that you would send Navaria. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> like they're actually watching Navaria. Like the people that who, well, at least the person who controls the city's social, um, is watching Navaria, which I thought was very cool. So I'm thinking some large tree patterns and fencing to line this side of the suburb here, which I think is okay. Um, I'll show you that little tweet actually for those that missed it. Might as well grab it up. Um, let's have a look. So come to notifications. Uh, and then it was a little bit further down, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, here we go. So they wanted pictures. They even got the snowman covens in as well. See them here? <laughs> I was like, yes. Let's see if we can squeeze in the covens into the official cities channel. And they did it as well. They did. They actually put the covens out. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. But that's too many trees for what I want. Um, let's go... Three per section. They're a bit big, aren't they? I don't think that's the right tree. Do we want to go palms here? Repeated palm palms, I wonder. I 
Mm. I think palms are better. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for repeated palms. I think it's alright. <laughs> I think it's okay. I'm going to leave it like that. I think it's okay. Um, we're getting yet more garbage processing again. More garbage processing issues. We need to have a look at that. Um, can we place in a couple more recycling centers down here, I think. We desperately need to move this industrial area. Like, seriously need to move it. The next episode, or this week's episode of Ilos, will be the industry stuff we're going to do. Um, some farming with these networks. We definitely have them somewhere. These ones here. So they're kind of like paintable farms. So we'll use a few of these to get the aesthetic that we're after. I think that'll be quite a good episode. It needs to happen because this industry is getting too much. <laughs> right, let's take another recycling set down. And uh, that should be okay for the most part. Um, how are our bus lines doing now? Let's have a little public transport overview. How many people are using these? Got 247 a week on the buses. That's not too bad. It's actually pretty good for buses. And most of the buses are pretty free as well. There's no major kind of choke points. Let's have a look at one of the other ones. Again, we can probably even afford to kill a few of the buses on these lines. Let's bring them down to five. And likewise with you. Yep, too many buses. Bring it down to five again. Cool. They'll of course get busier as uh, suburbia begins to expand around those stops. We're already getting a real nice blanket now, aren't we? Already getting a nice blanket of crawl. Okay. Not too bad, but I think I want to leave the stream there, guys. Like I said, I don't want to start doing too much on the streams. Uh, we want to save a little bit of work for the next episode, which will be this week and will be a big old farming industry episode. About some modded farming. So I hope you're all looking forward to that. Let's get a new shot of our campus, shall we? Yeah, let's go for like here. Or actually, maybe over here. Maybe inside. Yeah, this is pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, I like this. <laughs> I like Love my little campus. Thank you for all the help and influence in the shape and design of this, guys. I hope you've enjoyed hanging out and helping to come up with little designs like this. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Oh, we've got 330 people here, man. <laughs> what the hell? 330. Wow. Busy live stream. That's uh, insane. Uh, let's go chuck some on a host. Let's see if there's anyone streaming cities. Uh, yes, there is. Um, Cowtown is just streaming some vanilla city skylines, I think. It's been live for 20 minutes, so if you guys want to go show some support to another content creator, there is a link in the live chat. Go spam his live chat with hello people. Otherwise, I do want to thank you all so much for watching. Um, really appreciate all the support tonight, and again, all the super chats. Uh, insanely generous. Really appreciate it. Uh, and to Magzi for modding as well. Uh, thanks, matey. And for all our regulars that have turned up, and new people too. Uh, 2C, Ryder, Aris, Steak Sauce, David, JJ, EMB, Keith, Carl, Random Dude, and everyone else. Too many to name. You are wonderful. Thank you for all support. Thanks for hitting 40k subscribers, and I will see you in the week for ILOS. There is a tier list out tomorrow at 11. So you'll get a video tomorrow either way. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll speak to you guys in the week. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.